Welcome back everybody, episode 4 of Let's Farm Ravenport here. We're hanging out with the horses today, and today is going to be all about the horses. Garrett is uh, is creeping on our, our little stable back there. What are you doing? Admiring all these horses. Guys, we now, how many horses do we have here? Four? We have four. We're going to get more after we harvest, which harvesting is today. So, um, yeah, I want to get at least eight once we get going here. Okay, okay, I like the plan, I like the plan. You can go ahead and shut the gate. I need to, I need to ride. Is this Randy? I'm pretty sure. Yes, this is, oh wait, this is Winston. This is Winston. Winston. This is CJ's horse that he named. And then Randy is Brett's horse that he named. Snuffy is yours. And obviously the one, the only, Clarence is, is mine, so. I like it, I like it. I think stuff, or I guess all three of them need some riding. Yeah, yeah, they no, all. No, wait, just, uh, just Winston and snuffy yeah. yeah well they all could use a little bit of, there's no harm in riding like even clarence no there isn't could use some we could trade them yeah guys these things have gone up quite a bit in value already yeah after we're done running i do want to show you guys i'm sure you're really interested in how profitable it is obviously like horses are big money like just buying a horse super expensive in like just the feed and everything oh gary i thought you were coming with me never mind all right oh, I'm, I'm coming i'm coming i'm coming i'm doing i'm gonna be doing it here yeah i'll slow down to a trot and i'll do my normal lap, but anyway, I can now that I'm going slow, I'll show you. So these, I believe, were two. They were worth two thousand dollars, and now we increase the. Their training is up fourteen percent, I think. Yeah, it's fourteen across the board, and now they're worth seven thousand dollars a piece. So yeah, super exciting, Garrett. I think we should be able to get them to be worth a lot more very soon. And uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, guys, these horses are. There's something we never had. Really, well, okay, we had horse in the last game. But now they actually have like a purpose. You can train them and sell them, and it's it, they're they're pretty cool. Ooh, I haven't seen this. We got a well. What? We got a farm I have well. I've never seen this. Old like shed or workshop Ooh, there. I like it. I like it. Okay. And okay. here's another one in like this side of the hill. Hmm. I wonder what that's for. Anyway, we should be about done. Okay. This is, it's kind of hard to take them downhill. Oh. Yeah. We, we can I'm almost just jump path, it. But it's difficult. Yeah. yeah jumping. Look at that sand pit there. There we go. We have a little sand pit, a little sand deposit there. And yeah, so again, the the earth, we did kind of mess up a little bit, not going to lie. But let me know what you guys think of the farm in general. What do you guys want to see? Where should we place maybe a decorated barn? Um, let me just quickly go through decorations. And then I want you guys comment below what you want to see. Should we place a sand castle? I know we, we should place a few, maybe like a, a, a farm garage, a few other things. Um, we have a silo. No, we do not have a hayloft. I think we're going to need that for our hay, but our grass is not done harvesting. Oh, Garrett, I forgot to tell you. Uh, we were playing multiplayer yesterday, and somebody accidentally plowed half the field. They didn't know that it was planted, oh. and so we lost half of our crop. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, no, it's no big deal. They had no clue that we were planting, and I wasn't here on the farm. We were out doing contracts, so we spent a lot of money on a few things. Oh, wait, where did my horse go? I don't oh, know. I think it went inside. I think if you get off, yeah, he's right here. I think if you get off, we need to. Is he? Winston's only sixty percent. I still need to ride it some more. Ooh. Okay. 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 Yeah, let me Let's check. get it to hundred. Let's start sprinting. I'm just okay, gonna. Okay. So sprint. is it the top bar? Is that what we're looking at? The on the left, the animals. Yeah, and then you can see their percentage. So Randy's a hundred, Clance is a hundred, Winston's sixty-five, and Snuffy's thirty-two. So it's the bottom bar of those three correct bottom, bottom i'm looking at like in the menu right yep in the menu okay so i see like clarence is like 13, the bottom 100, bar 100. no the bottom bar is um that's cleanliness cleanliness so the top bar with like no don't look at those look on the left look to your left see the percent oh yep. that's what it is that's what it is yep so the daily riding percent okay mm-hmm Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so you so want to get that to 100, and then after each day, they increase their skill. Because obviously, we're riding them a lot, and they get really good really fast. And, and yeah, they increase by what? It was like 10% in one day? Yeah, that's Maybe awesome. Maybe 10 okay. days. Yeah, so sell. Snuffy needs riding. It's going to be It's gonna be a very exciting video when we are able to sell them. And I want to, about every video, I want to get maybe two more horses. They aren't cheap. Um, but we buy them. We buy them as pups. I don't know what you call baby. It's just baby horse pups. I don't know. But yeah, I like okay. it. I like it. So you're doing so, the trail again? Yep, I'm doing a different trail, kind of on the cliff. And then uh, by the time I'm back, 
we should be good to go and our horse riding will be complete once we get more Garrett, we're gonna need we we are gonna make this a dedicated server so we're gonna have people on here a lot more but we're gonna need a lot of people to help out with riding because <laughs> you know our back's gonna get sore our bum's gonna get sore from just riding everywhere but yeah yeah so spence i have a question for you have you ever ridden a horse in your life i have not i'm actually allergic to horses Ooh. never been around a horse i'm allergic to horses dogs and cats I and see. and some sort of weed on a farm i believe it's called pig weed um but I, yeah no okay so uh, yes i am i'm allergic to horses so i've never really ridden one and i've never been around one to find out if i am allergic so <laughs> that i is, see i see yeah so maybe you're not an animal lover is that what you're saying <laughs> not an animal lover uh i used to always like animals no i i don't know i got a I dog like them. i have a dog you do not in real oh. life we got rocky uh, right here though we do we do here he is, is coming true. to eat Ooh. Can we pet him? There for we go. It. Go for it. Oh, look at that. All right, so <laughs> Snuffy's 63%. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, Randy's done. And make sure you clean him off, too. Um, yeah. Okay, Randy needs cleaning. And Snuffy will need some cleaning as well. So just a heads up there. Yeah, so question. Do you know if the horses can... Like, if we go through a field. Obviously, I'm not going to go through a field. But if they do step on one by mistake or something, do you know what happens? I, I've been in a field with them. Or I've... Somebody went in the field. I don't think it was ready to harvest yet, but that didn't seem to affect it. Um, just don't try it. Yeah. It could damage, try. but I have no clue. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's see what Snuffy's at. Snuffy's at 75. Come on, Snuffy. You got this. 75. <laughs> you just need to keep working them. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have our garage here. It, it, it is kind of small. Not gonna lie, we, we maybe we should have placed down another pad. Um, maybe we'll only put equipment in here because we can probably get rid of these trailers or at least put these on the other side. Okay, I do need to. One thing I need to do is every time I put the header on here, because it's not like it doesn't make you do it perfectly. Like you can pick. Yeah, see, I just hit our header. So last time I put the header on, or actually, I don't even think I put the header on, but I need to make sure that it's on, like, the back half, that it gives us room to to drive. That's the the biggest thing. All right, Garrett, so we have a baler now. We have a few different things on the farm. We have a, we have a garage, so we can customize things. So if we ever wanted to make uh, thin wheels or thick wheels on a tractor, we can just go and customize it. Uh, just a heads up there. Okay. It Sounds wasn't good. It wasn't cheap. Not gonna lie, it was <laughs> not cheap. It's right there, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna okay. start har harvesting this wheat, and then if you wanna jump in the baler, and we can start making. We don't even know where to put straw. We still haven't figured that out, but yeah, I guess the more the merrier. Yeah, guys, with the straw, like we know it goes somewhere. Okay, we know that. We just don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of weird. So far, I don't know. We will for sure figure th that out shortly. So Snuffy's at a hundred percent. So I'm gonna put Snuffy back in the pen, clean off all the horses, then you be cleaned, and then we'll get going with the farm. There we go. Yeah, I, I got the header running. She is ready to go. By the way, guys, I can raise up and down the harvester, and that's kind of cool too. Depending on the height of the crop that I'm doing. So if the soybeans are short this year, we gotta really stick her down, or if they're tall, vice versa. All right, so. These fields are super small, Garrett. We were doing contracts for like five point, like five acres. Of, we did a one seven acre field, and that was pretty big. So, this shouldn't take too long. And then our grain trailer as well can hold two different, two different grains. If you ever, Ooh. yeah, I'll probably need you to be in the grain trailer because that's the only tipper that we have. Okay. Okay. I'll so here, do we have anything attached to it right now, or? Uh, I think you gotta go grab the semi, and I believe the semi is attached to the low loader. Okay. Oh, yep. I see the semi over there. Perfect. Guys, this farm is going good. I'm looking around, and it, it kind of makes me smile. It does. I We haven't really started from scratch before ever on Farm Simulator, and we are doing it here today. And this will be a dedicated server. We, I, I'm a little hesitant to make it a dedicated server right away, but uh, um, like... I was a little worried because too many people can really mess stuff up if we aren't ready for it. If we aren't a big enough farm, 
to keep everybody working. It, it sometimes people get a little crazy and stuff, mm -hmm. but I just want to get big enough. Oh, there's some weeds too there, guys. So we did not spray anything. Um, I still haven't. I'm um, yet to figure that out, but I'm sure we will shortly. Yeah, we will definitely need to start spraying stuff because I believe it can affect like how much we make from it and like, yeah, lots of different things. Yeah, it's ill for sure affect the yield. I know that for certain that we got a decrease yield because obviously you see our weeds tucked away in there, um, which is not good to see. But we're gonna figure that out. And next harvest, we're gonna we're gonna buy a few more fields next harvest and obviously we're gonna start using our sprayer you for it's for what it's supposed to be used for and i'm not gonna be able to fill you up too much garrett these fields are not that big but okay i'll try my okay. best also was somebody mudding with this like this thing is covered with yeah mud. we do need to spray it off i didn't want to spray it off because i knew we'd be harvesting today but uh yeah. yes we were we were running there pretty hard in the field uh we're helping out our neighbor philip another neighbor called tyler tyler with a wheat and soybean harvest i like it. I like it yeah i like i was kind of surprised actually though to see this much mud just like it's covered spencer it is like absolutely right. covered garrett i kind of messed some stuff up i should have oh. enabled straw swath from the get-go and i forgot to at least oh. yeah so i kind of forgot to do that anyway we should be able to make a few bales out of this we don't need that much straw dang okay um yeah i kind of messed that up we don't even know where we do have extra <laughs> straw bales too and we don't even know where to put them yet so i did kind of mess that one up pretty bad okay so i'm gonna grab the baler which tractor do you think i should grab what what's your uh what's probably your just thought? run the 6m i'm thinking um okay or i guess you could put the 6r get bale spikes on her so like you can just turn around and pick up the bales actually yeah run Ooh. get the 6r and then so you can just run with bales right away sounds good sounds good and i'll get those spikes going oh and i like the I, green you got i think you can make round bales out of it uh, uh or a square we'll, we'll kind of see what what it gives you i like this john deere green i see you got them color you got them uh spray painted or yeah painted. so yeah so we can just take those oh we can just take those to the customized shop and if we ever need to change the color of something super easy we don't like how something looks easy easy fix yeah dang it garrett i that's my bad it's all I good it's all good wasn't paying attention that we needed the straw <laughs> we, we will should. know in the future yes we will we should be able to make one or two bales out of it and that that is gonna last us if we need to we don't even know where to put the straw to so I guess we need to figure that out first. That's our main priority. Okay, I'm going back to attach. We kind of went close. This is kind of parked a bit close to where the little barriers are, but it's all good. We got it. All right, I'm done with that field right there. You should be able hopefully, I wonder how many bales you're going to be able to make, and then I'm going to go ahead unload in the trailer just in the back half. Sounds good. Okay, so which bale type should we try going with um do square for right now okay because i don't think we have such a small amount of uh swath on the ground straw swath that i think we won't even might not even be able to get it maybe just one uh round bale so we might as well just make a lot of square bales okay so i believe this is set to make some square bales for us does it say on the controls i'm trying to see that maybe this one can only do square i'm not sure here i, I can jump in it too just to confirm it's, we don't want to yes it looks like a yeah. square bail um yeah yep coon baby i don't see any yep. way to change you're it you're good you're good also i just want to say guys for my viewers um the server was an issue on my computer and then we put it on spencer so that's why it shows spencer's name on my screen as being garrett place don't worry it is spencer yes yeah, so Garrett's. Garrett yes yeah, i wasn't able to switch that around uh, we we were trying to mess with it. We did, yeah, like Garrett said, we started this on his computer, and then now we're transferring it over to mine. Uh, oh, we can make, oh, don't worry, we, oats, oats, we can make it too. Ooh, okay, okay. So we're like going to have plenty, we're going to have plenty. All right, so should I start going through this? Yes, yep, go okay. ahead, make square bales. And we do have a, a bale trailer um, that 
CJ was able to buy for us. So we're going to be – we're set. We're set on Bionic. We don't even really need it. We could just run back and forth. It's it's in close vicinity. We don't even really need it. But we'll use it for sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, the bills are being made. There we go. What percent are you at? Should – those are uh, – it is almost done. It's showing like a number, so there yep. we go. That one's the first one seems to be done. Cool, cool, Just cool. is being pushed through. Yeah, I like it. I like it. There we go. Yeah, it seems like it's a little easier to drive combines, to drive tractors. When we're in the field, I notice that I'm not missing as much. Obviously, these are pretty small fields, and I'm trying to play close attention. And then on the TV or uh, the, the monitor, we can see how much is going in the combine, Garrett. So the numbers like actually represents like what's happening, which is pretty cool. Ooh, that's new. I wouldn't, like it. Wouldn't that? Yeah, we're scaring birds off here as we as we get to the end of rows. I know, like sometimes. Farmers will find like coyotes and like pheasants in their field, especially pheasants, and they scare them off, which is pretty cool. Okay, thank goodness the oats. I totally forgot that the oats will be able to display straw um, swath as well, so we can make bales out of that. Okay. And Sounds I think we'll, good. we'll, next season we'll probably plant again oats um, just because I want to have so much, so many for horses. I We're always going to do horses on the server that if they. Are really profitable um, that'll be good to see and so we I want to have as much many oats as much straw as we possibly can and we can do two in one sounds like a good plan okay so it seems like we got okay one already dropped out there's one that's about to drop out okay yeah. okay so we should be able to make at least like five six bales from these and then our other field is oats as well, so that's we should be able to make get at least ten. Start stacking them up. I'll get a hayloft, and we can kind of get that going. Yeah. Do you know how I can push out the bell? That's like because it's made. It's just like I, so close. You just keep coming over to my field, and then it'll drop off as another one's made. But I think at the end you can just grab your grab your forks, hook up, uh, just stab Ooh. it, and then yeah, it should work from there. Yeah, yeah. So we have one of them that's on that field, and yeah, it's it's we we got quite a few. It seems like we pretty much got three from that field, and we didn't even get the full thing done. So I like it. Perfect. And then yeah, those these fields are pretty much the exact same size. Then we have two of them, and then we oh yeah, I forgot to we have grass down there. So we're gonna turn that into hay with our tether, and then we're gonna row it up, bale that as well. And we can make some hay bales from there, and uh, that's what the I can I can look at my dash too while I'm going here, guys. That's what they eat. they eat. oh oats in hay. Seems like they eat a lot more hay than oats, so <laughs> we need to make sure that we utilize that half field that half field of grass that we kind of messed up. Yeah. So is it for oats and hay? It's sixty forty, right? For the percentage. Is it? 60 being oats? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Never mind. Scratch that. One of them's 60 and one's 40. I'm going to quickly check that out. Yeah. My, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, But yeah. That should be good. Okay, you dropped two there. Awesome. We should... Maybe we're getting better yield in this field. Not sure. <laughs> uh, we have ye we have weeds in both of them. I know weeds decrease the yield by, I want to say, 15 to 30% uh, around there. I like it. I like it. Guys, this is going good. I know. It's nice to... I'm going to disable straw swath as I just grab a few that I missed here. A few spots that I missed so that you don't have to like... So it's not a mess. Yeah. So I wasn't able to find it in the menu. Uh, but I, I believe reading it was like 60-40 for oats. Okay. Or one of them, 60, one's 40. I can tell okay. you that much. <laughs> yeah, so we're obviously we're going to need both, and we're going to have both. And then after, probably after this harvest, guys, we're going to, we're going to, next, next planting season, which comes up pretty fast. We, we put our plant growth on, on, uh, as high as it can grow, as fast as it can grow. And so we can kind of run through things here, especially when we're small. We don't want to mess around and wait for stuff. So we can keep going here, uh, which is pretty cool that we can change that. And so, yes, we, we're going to pay attention. I think we're going to do chickens, and we might do pigs. Pigs would be a big step 
I think we might just stay with chickens on our next harvest and then the next one probably step it up as we get more help uh, on the farm. I think that's going to be the move. Good. Here, I'm going to jump out real quick. Check. 100% weed, 50% harvest. That's kind of weird. It's ready to harvest. And fruit, fruit type is oats. What was there the percentage go. for weeds? 100%, but it's 100% Ooh. harvest too. Yeah, we didn't really okay. touch. But it, it, we're just learning too. This is our first harvest. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to be figuring some stuff out. You know, guys, I I personally think we're doing good for our first harvest. For all these farmers out there, people who played this game a ton, uh, or farming similarly 17 ton, uh, just let us know what your thoughts are. If you don't think we're doing the best we could, let us know how we could improve. Yep, that's pretty much how we're going to learn along the way. And we did learn a few things. So I was doing contracts in last night's stream, and we, we were going to use, it was Philip was the, oh, I can't get this. We're coming too steep. Um, we're using, we we're going to make straw swath out of Phillips wheat, but we were unable to, you can't use the baler on it. The only thing you can do, the only thing you can do when you're doing contracts, you can't take any other product, but, uh, but what he contracts you out for. So that's something that I learned. You can't use like the straw swath to make your own bales if it's not your own field. It's yeah. actually pretty cool that they have that implemented like that. And then one thing that was pretty weird is so we were we we had to take his wheat to we had to take his wheat to the grain elevator and we got money for his crop. What? <laughs> yeah. So it it was kind of like we made a I don't know it was kind of weird like obviously we were gonna get paid for doing his doing the service but I didn't know we were gonna get paid for selling it too which was kind of threw me off. Yeah, maybe maybe the money was split. It was just worth a lot. I don't. That's, yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I just didn't know. How that was gonna work? Well, hey, you got you, we got some extra money, and that's something we kind of needed. <laughs> yeah, no, we did we did need that. That was so we were able to pull in about fifteen thousand dollars yesterday. Obviously, we spent a lot more than that, um, but it's nice to get some income. And we're gonna be selling our wheat here, which won't sell for too much. Hopefully, we can get like five k out of it or something. It's not super small field, but we were able to get bales out of it as well. Yeah, the horses are, is going to be our main income after this harvest. Yeah, and that's fine by me. I I think the horses are a good source of income. <laughs> yeah, if we can, it went up. What? How much percent? It went up like five per, like, no, it was at two thousand dollars and went to seven. So it almost quadrupled in value after just one day. So after ten days, will it times by four hundred percent? Four thousand percent. I don't I wonder. Know. The, I I I don't think it would go up that high, but they, it's going to go up quite high, guys, and it's going to be good for us. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Um, there you go. Um, I yeah, I just wonder what are they going to be worth when they're a hundred percent uh raised when they when we got their skill up one hundred percent. There we go, guys. I accidentally hit the oats there, and you can see we we accidentally killed just like one plant. Uh, that's a good demonstration, I guess. <laughs> there we are, Garrett. How's bailing? It's going good. It's going good. We have lots of bales. If you see that field, like the last field you just did, uh -huh. we have lots of product over there. So it's going to yeah. be good. We should be set. We, again, we do need to figure out where this stuff kind of goes. There you go. I see you haven't missed any spots, which that's yeah. good. Yeah, I just saw there was one that was like kind of like off in the grass so i got yep. that and i think the first or the second field there might be some right at the edge i missed uh, mm -hmm. i'm not no sure. big deal it's yeah it's no like big right deal. at sure the border weather's away the wind just blows it away yeah or if we can get there on time maybe we can get it. yeah i see it in the distance not too big of a pile okay cool 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 there we go guys yeah so we did we added in a little more money uh to buy a few more things but other than that we are keeping our money the same throughout we're pretty much set um and we're gonna slowly purchase things the right way it's gonna be pretty much a long process i know a lot of other people um don't don't do it from complete scratch <laughs> uh and they obviously add in some money to get the coolest you know combines in the game the biggest piece of equipment but yeah there we go last little strip here and we will be done harvesting 
we do have to harvest we, we're gonna be mowing the grass but with the combine this is all we're doing with the combine but we'll do, probably be doing some baling next video on our small little patch there uh, unfortunately that is not ready the grass has taken longer and I do have a time on 15 so maybe it maybe it is ready by now I can go run over there yeah we'll kind of see guys these fields are going good everything so far has been going pretty smoothly yes sir which is what we like to see <laughs> and oh, I think I just missed some <laughs> yeah little, little the bit. first miss of the day no sometimes I pile it up too much at the end and that can yeah. kind of mess you up. Okay. Here, let's see if I can maneuver my way. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go over here and wash off the combine. We are done. Officially done with the combine. No more work needed out of her. It's kind of sketchy going on some of these dips with the header. <laughs> but if I just okay. go nice and slow, I should be good. We got the little patch. I actually completed one of the bells, so that's perfect. Uh, yeah, we should probably get a hayloft. Um, I haven't really worked with a hayloft before, but we'll kind of see how that works. Yeah, that could be. Well, we have, but just to flatten land. <laughs> yeah, just just to flatten land. So, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna for sure. That's where we're gonna put most of our leftover hay. We won't sell it because I know we're gonna run through it, um, and we'll need it obviously as we buy a lot more horses. All right, I believe the John Deere's all clean and ready to go. Ooh. Good work. Let's put our wand away. So did and you then, unload into the semi yet? Have you? Oh have yes, you done I, need, that I need to do that. Uh, yeah, I should yeah. have done that before. And maybe once you've done that, you can wash it off or before some point because that thing is dirty. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, we should probably get a smaller, a very small tipper for just running food. That's something that I do want to buy. Just a small tipper for the farm. Obviously, we have a big grain truck and semi, but that's not very practical when we go and unload into our horse padlock. So I was thinking we just get a super tiny tipper that's just meant to run over to the uh, silo and stuff. I'm actually going to, let's see, let's unload. I want to unload into our silo first, with okay. just because I don't want to mess anything up with our wheat, even though we have like... It's not even a fraction of our trailer. I just want to do that real quick. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, I have finished with all of the all of the collection, to my knowledge at least. I think I picked everything up, so I'm just gonna now try using the forks to get this last bale out of it. Yeah. See if you can kind of grab the last bale out of it. Maybe you can uh, like manually unload it. Maybe there's an option for that. But uh, once you're done with that we can start putting them actually put them into the bale trailer because i think it would just be easier and it, it will be a lot of driving back and forth if we don't yeah that is true on the side of the smaller shed uh okay i'm trying with the fourth it didn't seem like it liked that so i'm gonna see if i can attach maybe maybe there's a button that i missed i feel like it's not giving me the option to unload here um which is kind of throwing me off. I thought for sure it would. Here, let's see if we can... Unload Bailey. That would do it. Yep, there we go. Okay, so one of those bales is done. The other one is close to being done that's in there, but it's not done yet. <laughs> okay, so it, it doesn't really want me to... There we go. Okay, I accidentally had it unloading on the wrong side. There we go. We are <laughs> unloading. Then that was it, guys. That was a very small load. And so, yes, we will, for now... Okay, where's my combine? All right, it's over here. I'm going to, for now, I will head over to... Maybe we'll unload directly with a combine into the padlock. Paddock. Should Ooh. we do that? Should we just go run over there and see if it works? But I'm kind of <laughs> sketched out about that as well. You could see if it does. That it, it might. Yeah, no. It, it for sure it might. I think we might just unload into the trailer and then um, take the trailer over there and unload. Yeah. That might be a little more realistic. <laughs> just a little. Just a little. Just a little. And then yeah, so it's divided. the The trailer's divided. So Garrett, we can have two grains in one, uh, one trailer. That which is pretty cool to see. That's awesome. And the trailer's not a mod, right? 
The trailer is not a mod. Nope. Is. The brand That's is awesome. D Distinction. And I know there's Wilson as well. If you guys like Wilson, I know a lot of you will like the Wilson brand. <laughs> there we go. We need to check on our grass field too. See if we can ready for harvest. We can start harvesting that. Because if we can, we will. And there we go. We've been doing a lot of work here on the farm. Things are coming together. I do want to buy at least... We'll probably, we might have to take a loan out, but I do want to buy a few other fields to get working on because fields are, are like, we have the equipment, we have, we have the manpower, we just need the acres. So we'll kind of see with that. So, Spencer, I have a question for you because, as you know, I don't know them too much about farming. Mm -hmm. uh, the trailer that is red, that big red trailer, what is that for? Big red trailer. Yeah, it's over where I am, it's right beside. Is it, it the small have, shed? It looks, yeah, it looks to have spikes in the inside. I oh, that's believe. a loading wagon. Yep, it's that's a loading. A lo wagon. So that is gonna okay. pick up. You could actually have had pick. Maybe they don't want square bales, and we could we had to like just straw swath is what they wanted. But they uh, like square straw bales will work as like it's their bedding anyway. Um, mm -hmm. that's gonna pick up our grass. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna pick up our hay, if we don't make it into hay bales. If if we want to just, but we'll probably make it into hay bales. It's just a loading wagon, pretty much. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, there we go. We're gonna unload. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so the unloading we can change it to front to back. That's what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and unload our oats here. Did they take all of our oats? Uh, they might have. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even fill it up that much. Oh. We didn't even fill it up all the way, and that was both fields. What? Yeah, I thought for sure we would have leftovers. Yeah, our fields are pretty small, guys. Um, fields are gonna be. Our fields are really small. We need to upgrade our fields. They're a little too small for right now, but they're pretty. Yeah. Okay. We let's look at some land right now. See if land prices are going down. Obviously, we aren't going to go ahead and buy field eight, but. Okay, so that's fairly cheap. We have a few. I kind of want to get up in 17, 16, 15. That's kind of where I want to expand next. We could buy 15 and 14. Those are in our price range. I might take out a loan and see if we can get 17 and 16. Um, and maybe buy these four eventually. That yeah. might be for next season. Uh, okay, yeah, so. Real quick, I want to go check on the grass. I'm going to go probably pick up two horses here on episode on our next episode, episode 5. So be sure to stay tuned for that, guys. If you're enjoying the farming series, let me let me know by smash the like button. Go in the comments. What do you guys want to see next? What do you guys what animal do you want to see as we start getting bigger and bigger? Um and yeah, we'll go ahead and pet Rocky there. He needs some more food. Yeah, I'm going to run over to the field. See if the grass is ready for mowing. We'll get straight into that. Okay, so I'm loading up the bales right now. Yes, it's ready. Ready for Ooh, mowing. Perfect. I'm actually going to go jump in the mower, guys, and we'll do a quick little time lapse of mowing. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so I am mowing here, and I just figured out something. Make sure that you don't drive on the grass when you come back and mow. So maybe go in a circle and don't switch your side of the mower. Never dry, uh, drive on grass that you already mowed. Maybe you have to wait for it to stand back up. I really can't figure it out. Um, so, yeah, just a pro tip of the day. I think I'm not able to mow as much grass because, and then see here, I hadn't run over this grass. Oh, wait, this grass looks, wait, no, it's all the same. It just looks different when I get closer to it. Um, yeah, don't run over your grass. 
and you'll be able to mow it all. So that's why I took two paths right there, and you can't even see that I mowed it because I must have smashed all the grass, and it's kind of, yeah, that's a little different. And then we're going to be able to mow all this here. I do want to take out these trees eventually and expand this field and plow it um, and expand it, but not yet. Okay, perfect. There we go. And then, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here. We won't have enough time to finish up mowing in the day. I'm going to try and get it done before the sun goes down. But other than that, we're pretty much done here today. Thank you so much, Garrett, for helping out on the farm. Yep. And, uh, yeah, guys, we're going to get off here. Hopefully you are enjoying. Smash like button. Like I said, Garrett's struggling with his bales over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, another pro tip of the day, actually. Never let Garrett do anything with crying moving bales into a trailer. <laughs> Very true. That's a good. Thanks for letting us know that one, Garrett. <laughs> All right, guys, peace out. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time.